Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to use Adobe Illustrator to create this simple 3D character using components from a simple 2D vector illustration. So to start with, we're going to draw our character. If you want to skip this step, I'll upload the files in the description for you to download. First up, I always like to just get my colors ready. So I'm going to draw a few squares and just eye drop the colors from my current illustration. I'll just move my colors out of the way. And then I'm going to draw a square with the marquee tool. Again, use the eyedropper tool to make that pink. And then I can round the corners using the direct selection tool and clicking and dragging one of the circles that you see on each corner. Then with that selected, I'm going to come to object path offset path. And let's go for minus 20. Now I'm going to make that white. Then offset path again. Let's go for minus 15. Make that blue. I want to curve those corners a bit more, so I'm going to come with the direct selection tool again. Just drag one of the points in. Now for the eyes. So for this, I'm going to draw a circle using the ellipse tool. Then by clicking and holding the option and shift keys, I can drag that down to duplicate it. Then I'll make that blue. Just make it a little bit wider. And I want to use Pathfinder to knock that shape out. So I come up to Window and look for Pathfinder. With both shapes selected, I'm going to click on minus front, and that's going to give us our basic eye shape. Now I'm just going to come in and curve the corners again to soften that off a bit. Duplicate that shape again by holding Option Shift and dragging. Bring that more into the center. And now to draw the mouth. So for this, I'm just going to draw a simple rectangle. And I actually want to give it a bit more of a smile. So I'm going to come to Object Warp Arc. And that's a quick way of getting a perfect curve. And again, just soften off those ends by coming in and dragging the circles in the little corners. Now I want to create these sort of fuzzy background lines that you get on old TVs. So for that, I'm going to come and draw a stroke. I'm going to make that light blue. Now to get that to repeat, I'm just going to duplicate, drag it down to the bottom of the face. Then I'm going to come to Objects Blend Make. And that's going to put more lines in between the two lines we've just set up, but that's far too many. So we want to come to Object Blend, Blend Options. And if we come to Specified Steps, that's going to allow us to reduce the amount of lines in there. So you might just need to play around with this until you get the amount that you like. But I'm going to go for 7. Then in transparency, I'm going to put my opacity settings to overlay, which is going to bring more of the background color through. And I'm going to turn my opacity down so it's not so visible. So there we have the basics of the face. Now for the elements on the top and the ears, we're just going to draw a simple circle. Now for 3D, we actually need it to be a full circle rather than a semicircle. And for the top part, we're going to do another circle with a stroke. We can make that a bit thicker as well. Now again, I can just duplicate those to create the ears. So now we've got our basic shapes, we can go into 3D. Now the 3D software in Illustrator has come on leaps and bounds. It is actually pretty impressive now. So what we're going to do is duplicate our base shapes. Make sure they're grouped by having them all selected and pressing Command G. Then we're going to open up our 3D settings. Make sure your window is fully expanded by just dragging the bottom down. Select Inflate on the top right. And then under presets, we're going to come down to isometric left. I'm going to play around with the settings a bit. So I'll increase the depth to make it slightly longer and then reduce the volume. So we've not got this big sort of bubble sticking out the front. It does require a bit of tinkering. So just play around with the settings until you've got something you're happy with. Then we're going to come to materials. So I want to make this a bit more shiny and metallic and also bring the brightness down a little bit to get more shadow. Then if we come to lighting, I'm going to turn the intensity up a little bit, rotate the lighting and bring the lighting up a little bit higher. So with this, imagine you're controlling a light box and you're just sort of moving it around the space. Now we're going to turn on shadows and make sure I've got it positioned below the object. This makes it a little easier to see if you've got your light in the right place. I can see I haven't, so I'm just going to rotate my lighting a little bit. So I've got the shadow coming out the back. Now, if I click render in the top right, after a few seconds, it's going to show me how that looks with all the finishes and lighting applied. 
So you can see it's got that metallic sheen now. To do our face, we're gonna make sure we've got our eyes and mouth grouped. We're gonna drag that across and in the 3D panel, we'll select plane. Now in presets again, come down to isometric left. Just make sure you've got that centered. And then we need to do the same for our line work. So again, we drag that across, hit plane, isometric left. And you'll see that won't carry over all of our transparency settings. So I'm just gonna turn the opacity back down and position that in the center. And I just need to turn overlay back on as well. Now for the finishing touches, let's copy our circle over. I'm gonna place that on top and go to inflate again. And this time we wanna to come to isometric top. Materials, we can come and increase the metallic. Then in lighting, we just need to make sure we've got the light coming from the same angle. So our shadow is being cast in the same direction. And you wanna get your light intensity and other settings to be similar to what you had with the square. I'm gonna render that. Now I'll copy that and change my settings to isometric left. Sorry, isometric right. And again, it comes to lighting. I'm actually gonna remove the shadows on this one. I think it will look a little cleaner. But just make sure you rotate the light so it's coming from the same direction. And to create this halo effect, just drag over your final circle. Again, come over to object, inflate, and isometric top. Just gonna make that a little bit thinner and pull it up. Again, just make sure your lighting's right. Make sure your material settings are consistent and then hit render. Now what's cool about this is because it's all still live vector shapes. If you want to edit anything, we can. So let's select my circle. If I want to add a white key line or stroke to this, I can simply add that in and it'll update that in the 3D render without me having to do too much. And now we've pretty much got our complete image. So now you can make any final tweaks that you want to make. But to really complete this, you want to add a background color. So to do this, I'm just going to clear my artboard, add a marquee to the background, and then I'm going to add a gradient to that. Now again, this is all about lighting, so you want your lighter side placed where your source of light is. So in this case, it's on the left. Then I'm just going to change my colors to a light blue on the left and a slightly darker blue on the right to give the sense that our character is in an environment. So there you have it. How to draw a simple 3D character in Adobe Illustrator in minutes. And for more creative tips and tricks, just click through to my next video or visit my channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe.